You are sitting in class. It's test day and you studied all of the required material bookmarked in your textbook. You are confident, you are ready. But then you get the test and you slowly realize that you can't answer any of the questions. Your bookmarks were attached incorrectly and you studied the wrong material. Now imagine that instead of being a student, you're actually a human cell and the consequence of failing this test is leukemia. Just like students, the cells in our bodies must diligently read their assigned information on DNA. They must pass many tests every second to execute complex biological processes so that we can move, grow, and prevent disease. In my research, I seek to understand the precise reasons why our cells read the wrong information on DNA and develop leukemia. Finding the right information on DNA is difficult. To get a sense of scale, this textbook on your left has about three million characters packaged in pages, whereas the human genome has three billion base pairs of DNA packaged in units called nucleosomes. So it would take 1,000 of these textbooks to equal the same number of characters as the number of base pairs in the human genome. And all of it can fit into a single cell. So how do our cells know where to find the right information on DNA? Well, unlike this textbook, the human genome doesn't have a table of contents or page numbers. Instead, there is a complex system of bookmarks which guides small biological machines called reader proteins to the appropriate sites of information. Writer and eraser proteins work to maintain this system by attaching and removing bookmarks. The prime subject of my research is the writer protein, .1L. .1L attaches bookmarks that are important for preventing leukemia. When .1L malfunctions and attaches bookmarks at the wrong genomic locations, reader proteins are brought to the wrong sites on DNA and fail their leukemia test. But .1L does not work alone. It needs help from partner proteins to function properly. Partner proteins directly interact with .1L and bring it to bookmark-specific genomic locations. But it's not really clear how .1L interacts with its partner proteins. It's also not really clear how partner proteins affect .1L's bookmarking activity. I will study .1L in the context of its partner proteins, how it works, and why it breaks. I will use cutting-edge techniques in biochemistry and structural biology to understand the precise molecular details of .1L's structure and interactions. And with this structural understanding, I will develop new drug treatments to fix broken .1L machinery so that I can bookmark the appropriate study material for a cell that's desperate to pass its leukemia test. Thank you.